bienvenue to Le Café Craft. We are still doing the lap book, the super duper lap book. Okay, let's resume. We have this done, this done, this is done, this is done, this is done, this is done, and now we have the uh, flip out. No, I'm flipping out. The fold out, fold out. So it goes like this. Right? Let me move this around. Okay. So today we're gonna set up the whole fold out and we're gonna do this part right here. In order to do that, you are gonna need a hole puncher because you just never know we punch something. A regular file folder or a six by nine envelope, whatever you have. We're gonna just go over both just in case you don't have a six by nine. You're gonna need those three boards that we already cut out so you should have them in your little pile there right one two three those some background paper cardstock or whatever you want to use and scissors round puncher ruler a file of some kind packaging tape distress ink Little brads, one eyelet if you're using eyelet, and that's about that. So here we go. So first step, we're doing the fold out. The fold out is exactly the same setup if you did the ephemeral storage. If you didn't do the ephemeral storage, but well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, you're gonna need your three boards, pages, whatever you call them, and packaging tape. This is part seven, and this is called the fold out. I'm gonna go over the giveaway in a few seconds. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I strongly suggest you start with part one, just in case, right? Because it's just like, it's a whole affair here. The giveaway for this video is gonna be some useful thing and some silly stuff. So useful things, as you've seen on the next fold out page, which is this one, we're gonna have those little folder that we pile up and then we use as pockets. So I figure maybe not everybody has those things. The one I used are dividers in photo boxes. But anyway, if you don't have any, I'm gonna scan one so you can cut it if you want on cardstock and use that. So that's one. Two, we are gonna also use those little bags. Now, they're not that easy to find because the, the one that you find easily are those. They're a little bit cumbersome for what we want to do. We can work with those. If you have those, we can work with those and I'll go over it when time comes. If you do not have those or if you do not have bags, I'm gonna scan, I'm gonna undo and scan one little paper bag so you can cut it out and make as many as you need. I thought that would be, you know, helpful. Anyway, so that was the useful. The silly is uh, just in case anybody needs to come down or whatever, or have a big headache with that whole thing. I have some old prescriptions, so I'm gonna scan those and then you can, because you're gonna have so many pockets, you're gonna have to put things in it. And prescriptions, you know, you just never know when. Uh, they're from 1946, so I don't know if they're still good, but anyway, it's, and they're very hard to read. But so that will be the next giveaway with this video. All right, so now we did that. We're doing this. So in order to do this, you're gonna need some background. You're gonna need to, first, we're gonna put those three things together. How about that? Let's start with the beginning because that's always a good idea. All right, so we're having one here and we're gonna put the second one there. So I already edged all the edge, but I'm pretty sure you did that because I think I kind of mentioned it in the last video. But anyway, you get to edge all sides and on both sides, right? Okay, and now we're gonna do the fold out with the package tape. So here we go again with that story or where is the beginning of this thing? Right here. All right, got about here. Okay, and you go on the whole length, halfway on the whole length. All right, done. 
pick it up, flip it. There we go. I'm gonna line up on a line, any line, preferably straight. Okay, you're taking second board, second board, this whole edge on all sides, and you leave, you know, that little space, then this way you'll be able to fold, like so. All right, you flip those things back here, back there. I didn't specify, but you realize that they have to be the same or about which means you know they have to fit inside your cover right but we already measured those but this is the measurement for it okay it has to fit inside your cover with room on both ends and on the sides like so right right just in case you know just be on the same page doing that again now once that's done that's it you you pretty much we're reaching the end of the setup so for the background because now we're getting into like serious background so i don't know if you have a theme already if you do well great if you don't you still have time to figure it out because this one is a little bit like the the inside of the front cover which means we're gonna put a big envelope which is gonna cover most of everything so you're gonna have very little background popping out right so this is this is still not a matter of emergency to have your background selected let me see if I'm good here. Yes. Sorry for that noise. All right. Flip it over. Find a line. Get a little bit over the line. And then you line yourself for the last one. You line yourself on the line that you see. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit. It's kind of precise a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of pay attention to what I'm doing all right okay so here here last piece of tape i mean that tape had been really cooperating today all right done with the tape all right so you do have a space in between the pages and that's what's gonna allow you to folding in or out for that matter. Hold on, I got a little bit here. So that is your fold out, right? And it's gonna fold out this way. So here you're gonna have your big envelope. Here you're gonna have your little folder pocket with the flip up envelope, the little envelopes. And here you're gonna have your big side pocket with the flip up bags, right? And then when you're gonna flip it back this way, like this, you're gonna have the deep pocket folder, right? Right, so this is gonna go, all right, this is your cover, right? So we already took care of that. We got the envelope and all that here. We have the spine here with all the things going on with that. And this is gonna go, this is why I said do not cover the back cover because this is gonna go right here. It's gonna be taped right there, okay? Okay, so get that out of the way. We need background, but as I said, you are gonna use a six by nine envelope or a folder. We're gonna we're gonna do both, right? So this way you get an option, just like the front inside cover. This is gonna take most of your page, which means I took something a little bit bland, but French, mind you. So that makes it very interesting. And um, because see, well, I'm gonna put the envelope here, you're not gonna see that much of your background. The same thing with, which is what I say, you you know, you don't have to really, really um, worried about it right away, because this page, you're gonna have all the, the little folders here, and you're gonna have the flip up envelope. So if you look at the main guy here, as you can tell, I used, uh, that was the uh, map index, right? 
which was in the background. Here, there, as per se, there is no background except that little insert right here. Now, this, you need some kind of background, but it's going to be covered anyway for the... Um, can you see something here? Hold on. For this part here, because you're going to put... But half is going to be covered by your side pocket. Hope this is making sense. The main part of the background is the uh, the top of your um, deep, deep uh, pocket folder. All right. So let me put this on the side for the time being, because we are not doing that. So... This is a fold out, which means you can fold it in. So fold it in that you have this here, this page. This is where we're working on. Now, because we put tape, and that's what I usually do. I don't know what you guys do, but I usually file it. So the glue has a better grip on it, and it just take the shine out. And I hope I'm not shaking the whole table, which I think I am. But anyway, I might as well. Now, the thing is, again, make, make sure you leave room, okay? Because as we're going to add up things, it gets thicker and thicker, and you get to be able to fold. So you cannot make it too, too tight. So, you know, lift something. Well, I don't even know if you can measure that, but where will that be? It's like a 16 of an inch, about a 16 of an inch. That was precise. Somebody would never measure anything. But let's put it this way. It's better to leave a little bit more than too little. All right, done with this. Okay, let's go back here. All right, this is the page. This is what I'm gluing right here. So, guess what? Here is the glue. We are gluing. All right. So while we're doing that, it is so interesting. I hope everybody's doing well. I know because I read all the comments that everybody is on it with this lab book. And already did part one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, today is part seven. Seven is a lucky number. So we should be rolling. All right, I think there is glue here. There is glue. Those are uh, classified from an old uh, French magazine called L'Illustration, and that is from May 1937. So, ha, huh, you got a piece of antiquity here. This is an antique piece of paper. I don't know how old things get to be to be considered antique versus how old this got to be to be vintage, right? I don't know what the story is. Okay, the envelope. If you have a six by nine envelope, you're gonna cover it, of course, here. So we don't care about the back because the back is glued, right? The only difference, so you can cover the front of it, you're gonna have to cover some of the inside. But okay, now it's a matter of proportion again, and I don't know what you're working with. The one that I had here had a big uh, flap, and I kind of like that. I think it looks, it kind of changed the look of the envelope. So that's what I wanted to kind of stretch the top of it. So you, we got a big uh, flap now. You know, if you don't want to go through that, you don't have to. Now, I know also that some people don't have the 6x9 envelope, so we can use a file folder if you have a file folder, which happened to be about 9 in height, right? So, cool. We just get to figure out 6 wide, and then you have yourself your envelope, except you're going to have to do the, the flip top. And we can do that too. Now, again, when the envelope is done, right? Because we're doing the envelope and you have your background that you're going to put the envelope on. Okay. That was pretty much for demonstration purpose. I will advise not to glue the envelope on there yet because you realize that now the whole thing is together. The more you're going to actually put on it, the harder it's going to be to open, glue, 
you know, press, make sure it's flat because you're going to end up having, see if you're going to fold like this, then it's going to have the thickness of the envelope. I hope I'm making sense. So I strongly suggest once your envelope is done, put it in the si on the side in your pile of everything lab book. And then when comes time, we just put everything down. It's a way better way. It's a way better way. It's a way better way to go about it. I mean, I, I'm not going to stop you from, you know, gluing down envelope, but because now those three pages are together, no matter what, is going to make your life so much easier. All right. So I did it. So you see how that works. You first got to tape them. Then you get to put a background, any background. And then when your envelope is done, it just goes on there. Right? Right. Okay. So this goes in the lab book pile right here. Now let's do the file folder one first. And actually, if you use a regular file folder, you will notice that it's not even on the top, which actually is a good thing. So, you know, keep it that way. Don't, don't line it up. It's better that way. If you do the envelope, then boy, your envelope is done, right? And we are exactly the same. All right. So now we got to close the envelope. We're going to do, we're going to need, okay. We say we want the top bigger, right? And we do have packaging tape. So we're going to make ourselves an envelope right now. This second. I mean, the thing is, um, if you use the, the file folder, uh, should I wait a second, if I do this, I'm going to edge first. If you use the, the six by nine, you can use cardstock on it, you know, to cover it. If you use the file folder, well, you can use, you know, scrapbook paper or whatever nice paper you have because you don't really have to, uh, you know, it's already thick. So that's a good thing. Now, if we do this, should I cut first the top? See the top, now that's another thing. The top here, I'm sorry, I'm making everything simple, so complicated. The top here, when you open it, hold on, let me take this out. I really like this, right? Because I think it's a cool cutout. Furthermore, that this is a big, again, it's a big envelope. You're gonna put big things in it. So I figure, well, let's try to make something like that. So in order to make something like that, I figure we're gonna use, all right. See if you use a regular folder, you get this part here that part, which I kind of like that cut. So let's say, and you can do the same thing on the envelope. You take the, you know, the file folder, uh, tab and I think about one inch on both sides, one inch here, one inch there. You take that tab, you line it up with your top of the, to the one inch, you know, the, the little curve there, line it up at the one inch mark. And actually, if you do that, you should be about the same over there, but anyway. And then you flip it, and then you line up about the one inch here. I mean, you don't have to go through that, but I kind of like the uh, look of it. All right, so before you All right, and thank you. That was extremely useful. Oops, don't move here. Make sure you erase your pencil. Edge, edge. See, it's a lot easier to do that when it's not all together. We're going to edge here too. Now, out of that piece right there, you're gonna go, okay, so we figure out it was three inches. So you're gonna have to go three inches up, three inches up, uh, not here because I'm gonna, okay, so six. And 
that's going to fall three inches down. So we're going to need to go three inches up. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, because it's six inches. I know, I know I'm bothering everybody with uh, not using the cutting thing, but that's what it is. Okay. Now, if you're using the 6x9 envelope, you are totally doing that in your cardstock or with, you know, piece of folder because you're gonna want to make your top uh, wider. So it's gonna have to go three inches and those things are two inches. So you're gonna have to go three inches up and then you gotta glue it on the top of your flap, right? So then you have a three inch flap. Yes, yes. So we're doing three inches here, like so. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here. All right, you're cutting your three inches. All right. And you are good. So, because at this point, we don't really know which way things are going. We are totally edging everywhere, both sides. Oh, we're gonna have to uh, round it up though. Hold on, we got to punch. Oh, not punch, but uh, round the flap around here and there. I'm gonna use size large, size large. I mean, it's a, it's a nice way to change. You know, if you use regular envelope, it's a nice way to change the look of it, kind of, right? Because then by the end, it doesn't even look like a... All right, so it's gonna go this way, that way. We're gonna open here. This is gonna be my flap. Okay, make sure the, the round thing are facing you. Okay, this one, you don't have to leave an incredible amount of room, okay? Just leave some room. See, that's because once you get the tape, you cannot... Oops, sorry. Cannot believe I did that. Hello, I'm back. Um, once you get the tape on, you cannot edge. Right? Right. So, just... Oh, no, but I was... I was good. I didn't need to edge that. So, but anyway, just being... Take the shine out. I mean, the glue holds way better if you do that. Just saying, it does. Okay, so if you're using the envelope, you're doing the same thing. You're doing a three inch, take a three inch cardstock or whatever, and then you glue your flap on it. So then this way, your envelope is gonna have a three inch flap, right? Right. See, it doesn't even look like a regular envelope now, which is why we're doing all of that. So now, there we go. I was like, which way am I here? All right, so we're gonna cover this, and we're gonna cover that. So now we're just gonna tape both sides here. All right, that make everybody's life. I mean, if you're gonna cover it with paper, it's gonna go over it you can also do that i'm doing it easy well maybe not if i cannot find the uh the edge here there we go you know everybody's telling me you have to make dog ears you get to do it. i know that but i just don't do it i just don't that's what it is I just don't do it stay here i mean that's the easiest way to make an envelope as far as I am concerned. And then this way you don't lose any uh, any width, right? Because you're gonna have the, four, the full envelope. And that's pretty cool. And we're working with packaging tape, so I mean, we will be silly not to do it that way. Alright, 
Cut this. Cut this better. Like so. All right, now. You know, we could have been smarter and then cover that while we were at it, but of course we did not. But that's okay, because you know what? We cannot think about everything. All right. So I decided I'm using this. And this should fit right in there. Yes. So I'm going to go all the way. Now the good thing is, see, it's not going to be a problem for that flap to flap, right? So about here, right? Right. There we go. All right. Now. Hold on, let me get some surgery here to do. Because I got a little bit of tape. Shouldn't be here. There we go. All right. So slide in, slide in. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm going to do... So that's going to go on top. All right, so... I'm going to check before cutting. Make sure I'm good with the height. Okay, so so much going on on this cardstock. <sighs> All right, so lucky number seven, right? Right, we are good, 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 good. All right, so this is the top of the envelope. The flap, I can use this, or I can use whatever else there is. But you know what? This looks pretty cool to me. Now I use, um, I cut this in, all right, hold on, let me show you. Pad, which, haberdashery? Okay, that's from this pad. So, because they're 12 by 12, right? And we got nine height, right? Which means, this should be about three inches, right? So you can totally use the cutout of this for that. Just saying, just saying. Oh, we could put it on the top or we could put it inside or we could put it here. Looks pretty cool, actually. You can put even nail stuff on it. That looks nice. Or I can use this like the other half of it maybe it'd be better and then i could use this for this <laughs> what do we know what do we know that's pretty cool too hmm maybe i totally use that okay change of plan you know what and i'm gonna be this time i'm gonna be smart it doesn't happen all the time as you already figure out well, I could use my corner rounder for that, but you know what? Who say we cannot round the corners with scissors? We can do it all. Let's see how that looks. That looks totally cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. It. All right, so done, done. We're putting this up. We're putting this is not this one. Whew. I get scared for a second. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I cut it here, there, right? That looks pretty cool. And this way I can use this for here. Yes. So about here. Right, right. Let's do this. Oh, this time I'm not even gonna attempt to outsmart myself. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the top here, and then we need something here which we should use. I don't know. As I say, we should have done that before. We this is not gonna do. I kind of like that. So I can totally put that in. So I'm just gonna have to cut this. A little bit more. That's um, tracing paper that I coffee dyed. I like it. I like it's nice and crackly. How's that work? Come on, you get in there. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure you know how to cover envelope and things like that. This is just 
I just wanted to, I mean, you don't have to, but make it look different, you know, by changing the, changing this cutout and the flap. Anyway, for what it was, I'm gonna put some glue there. Mm, it's going, which way is it going? This way or that way, that way. As I said, you know, do that before taping the sides. Now, if you're doing it at the same time than me, then you're having the same deal problem then I just had. But you know what? It is solved. Okay, so this is gonna go here. Ah, that looks pretty cool. This is gonna be here, right? And this is gonna go there. Yes. All right. So let's glue, 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 glue. We are gluing. Oh, edging. Edging before gluing. That's the right order. Do you know what? I'm thinking, which does happen. <laughs> if you're doing the folder there right pretty much you are all good to go this is six by nine this is the same dimension okay so you just glue glue let me because i'm thinking why don't i glue this one on i'm gonna do the cut out because see this way i don't have to so if you do the envelope same thing right you take your you take the folder thing as you go one inch on both sides, the only thing you're gonna have to do is because those envelopes, they're exactly border to border on the top. So you're gonna have to take down like eighth of an inch in order to have this, right? This little thing here. I just saw that when I did this. See, because if I line up in the bottom, you get to go down. So go down like an eighth of an inch, take your fold, where is it now? If anybody sees it, here, <laughs> right there under my nose the whole time. Okay, so you go about one inch away. Now we get to measure again. Ah, one inch away. First, you're gonna have to cut that little bit there, right? You got that. This is where you wanna be. So when you take your uh, folder, disappear. This is I don't know. This is this piece. For some reason, I don't see it. You put the curve on your inch mark, but you line up on this line. And then you do the same thing on this side. You line up on this line. You put your corner right there, but you line up on that line. And the one already traced. Now we good here. We got to go down a little bit more. Now I'm taking little curvy scissors because this one I cannot be popping really. All right. All right. See what happens when you arrive at the end, you don't have room for your uh, for your scissors. Alright, we're gonna need all the prescription we can get after that thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna double on the prescription thing. Here, see? Right? So now, where is it? Same thing, you cover. So now this one, see, for some reason, right, is not exactly right, obviously. I'm just gonna go with what I got here. On the other end, what do I have here? I have one inch and I have one inch, so that's good. I mean, that is good. So, same thing, you take your paper, whatever you wanna cover it with, slide it, do the cutout, then paste. Then the left out that you have here, use it to cover the top here because you should have I mean, whatever you're using, you need three inches, right? And then what you do is you are gonna glue your flap on that. 
and then you're gonna have to you know cover the whole thing here and then right let's say like so right you're gonna sandwich your flap and then you have a three inch flap and that's gonna change the look of your envelope right right okay so let's go back to folder Gluing. Did I edge that thing? I think I did. I hope I did. I forgot to edge the bottom. Okay. Now this here. Did I edge that thing? Yes. I mean, once you get, if you have an envelope, you're already done, right? If you get the folder. You know, once you get everything cut properly. Sorry, I got glue all over my hands. Okay, now we just got to put the, to do the tab to hold the flap. That is not very hard at all. All right, now the tab. Here is the tab. The tab I use for this specific one. I use those, um, you know those pads that you buy, all right? And this is the front. You see where there is those, all those where I always cut all of those, which is why unfortunately most of the time I don't even know what the name of the pad is because I already cut it out everything. But I cut those squares because they do come handy. Just get to use one of those. Uh, it's kind of, that is not very sophisticated for what I got here. That is a piece of music, but that's a little bit bright. That's a little bit too light. That's cool. I kind of like that. All right, so we got this option. Nope. That's pretty cool too. Those are cigar numbers. Are we not doing numbers? Not doing numbers or cigars or numbers and something. Nah. This is cool. I'm gonna use that one. I got like that one. Oh, that one is cool, right? I like that one. Okay, so we're gonna be precise here. Those are all squares or two inches by two inches, right? So two inch by two inch. We rounding the corners, large, edging. No, I put two, um, two little brads because I thought that's kind of cool, right? So we can put, and that's going to give us a good idea because you're going to use that as a, okay, you need enough to get in here, but not so high that it is not going to get in, right? So this should be about right right a little tiny bit more okay now you take a pokey wokey thing right and then you figure out where your tap should be okay don't go all the way just make a mark. but you know what why patricia why are you doing things like that just make a mark here and a mark right there right that uh, looks about right still gotta Okay, this guy a quarter inch, way more than a quarter inch. All right, this one is what? I got a half inch here. If I put a half inch there. If you want to, here, I punch a hole and put a, what are they called? An eyelet. I say why not, because you can see this way, you can hang something there. And you know, once it's glued, it's gonna be very hard to add up anything. So I said, just make one. And then this way you have it, if you want to use it, if you don't want to use it, well, you just got a little eyelet there. That's all, right? Okay, which one am I using? It's just, I, I got to pay attention. We do not bang. Uh, I'm gonna put a shiny one because I got shiny brads. So we're gonna shine. Mm, top base, top base. All right. Now we're poking. Poking here. And poking. 
Putting there. Putting the brads. A fish knife. Popping too much on the top and not on the side, right? All right. So pretty much, once you get that done, right? You're gonna glue everything which is where the brads are and under, but not here. So now, if you know what you're doing, maybe you don't, maybe you do you have twine okay that little piece of twine here put the twine first you know the truth and the matter is when i did this one i just put a piece of twine oh, i'm gonna do the same thing because i didn't know what i would put in there or not but at least the twine was through so this way you don't have to think about it right now washi some washi to cover the you know the other side of the bread not the string oh, we get there ouch but now oh, that's it now see by now you should be like me having a pile of stuff everywhere pieces of tape washi tape oh, oh for goodness sake just go away okay let's me go back to what I was saying. So of course it's preferable to do the middle of it, right? So it's six, so we know the middle is three. It's about here. And the middle of two is one. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So where's my middle here? kind of line up your middle right that's the middle but the thing is now that you know where the brads are you get to go up to the brads right which means you are gonna glue the you're gonna put glue on the brads all the way down and to the top of the eyelet this is gonna have to stay together somehow because it's gonna be in the way I mean, it's temporary, but yeah, this way it's gonna stop bothering me. Okay, so then you put the glue, the glue, do you like this? From the top of the brad, from your brads to the eyelet. Not the upper part, right? From here down, this way. So your glue is in the bottom. Don't glue it like this, right? You're gluing it on here, right? Right. Am I doing everything right here? Because like, watch me gluing it upside down. I am so good at that. All right. You find your middle. You line up your middle. Your glue is where the brads are. Now, just in case you're not sure, take this out. There you go. And then you let it dry really nice. You have your little string here. I mean, you can put something else in, but what I'm saying is at least it's in because otherwise you get, you know, it gets annoying. So if you take your, sorry, right? There was a lot of effort and dedication and everything else. Let me just take that whole thing out here. If you did your envelope, the only, okay, the only thing you get to do is to do that cut out there. You don't have to. I think it looks better. Let's put it this way. And then add up the three inch flap on here because it does. Because then suddenly your envelope doesn't look like, you know, a six by nine envelope, right? This is your flip up, not flip out. What's it called? Flip up, whatever. Pull out, pull in. Moving part, <laughs> the moving part. There's so many things. See, and then you're gonna glue it there. Right, you're gonna put whatever you wanna put inside there, right? And this is gonna flap back in. So you got to wait, this is dry before you do that, right? And then this, you know, supple it a little bit, but by the time you open it and close it a few times, it's just gonna get like this one is which means it just, you know, 
curly in and out. I put some lined paper in, you know, whatever you want to put inside. I'm sure you got plenty of ideas. You can put book pages if you want to, or, you know, whatever. Now, same thing. If you have this, it's the same exact thing. The only difference is you will have changed that flap to be like this. And then it's gonna look exactly like this one does, right? So whichever way you wanna do it. Now, when you, if you do with the uh, folder, you can put the glue inside if you want to. I like better to put it, I mean, I use the packaging tape. I like it better to have it on the outside because this way you have the whole width of the envelope, right? Right, and it will go like so, right here, good. Good. Okay, so don't glue it down. Please do not. Just put this in your lab book pile, okay? Because then this way you, you're gonna be able to, you know, fold this in and out easily. Now, where is my giveaway again? I don't know. Oh, right here. So I'm gonna give the real prescription because oh, we, need, we should need it for our nerves, don't we? I do. Whew. Can I have all of this, all of this, and all of that? I don't know. Back then, man, they were not shy. They would give you stuff. Whew. Anyway, I'm gonna scan this so you can use it for this part if you want to. You don't have to. Anyway, they're good to have. It's a good format. Just get the real tab, you know make yourself a few if yours is not that wide you can cut them off you still have that you know cool looking thing anyway and the little bag which are where are my bags right here those little bags here i'm gonna open them and scan them so you will have the cut out those are not easy to get for some reason they have the other one that i show you right those now, those, you can still use them. The only thing is, you're gonna have to, but we can get to that. If you have those, we can use them just the same, but we go about it kind of differently or not. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, we'll give a cut out of those if you like those. All right, that's about that. Part seven, done, okay? Next video is gonna be this, right? Those plus this, and then we get this, then the folder, and then we like, done, done, done. Ah! That is scary. Okay, thank you for subscribing. Thank you to all new subscribers, which if they wanna do the lab books, get to roll thing back up from part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the part seven. And uh, thank you to all existing subscriber. Thank you for all your comments, which are so cool and so appreciated and so funny and so delightful is the right word. And I enjoy every single one of them. And see you next time. Happy crafting, happy making. Bye.